hello now in this video i am going to show you how you can edit item from admin panel so first of all you can see here in last video we are we had here delete link now in this video we have to give here edit.php link and we need to pass this id so i keep here now from this demo page i have to save as this demo page save as and name is edit.php okay now we need here edit item and we need some dead spots product category product description and this button copy I copy this from add from add product and here I am going to paste this and now I am going to remove this select and put here text box input type text name p category and we need to display here images also so i have to take here tr td correspond to align center okay now when we click on this first of all going to delete this uh, close this now we are going to click on this on the time we are getting this id variable here so we have to get this id variable here so i am getting here dollar id is equal to dollar underscore get id now after getting this id we need to move here select query so i am going to write here dollar res is equal to mysql i underscore query and now we have to pass here our select query so select star from our table name is product where id is equal to dollar id yes now we need to here move here while loop while dollar row is equal to mysql i fetch array and dollar res now we are going to take uh, this all record product name product price product quantity in one variable so i am going to declare here variable product name product price product quantity product image dollar product quantity dollar product image dollar product category dollar product category and dollar product description yes now i need to check our table column field so i'm going to here open localhost php my admin okay here i need to open my database product we need product name so our column name is product underscore name is equal to dollar row and product name now i copy and paste this everywhere and then change only column name not now we need product price so product underscore price then we need product quantity then we need product image
then we need product category and then we need product description so here we have product description okay now we get here uh, all column value in one variable now first of all we create here one uh, td before because we need to here to show our current images so user can easily identify that he or she wants to change image or not so i am going to pass here height 100 and also i am going to pass here with 100 and inside this I have to pass here echo dollar product underscore img. Okay, now we are going to check we get image or not. We need to change here not till it, but we have to pass here add it, and here we need to add one column also for heading hdit. Okay. Now we are going to check here. You can see here we get here edit link, and when I am going to click here, okay, we get here error. What is the error? Oh, we forgot to pass here dollar link. Yes, now you can see here I get here image and now this all value we need to fill over here this uh, this testing everything it is written in value so we get here but we need to remove this static value I am going to remove this remove this we don't want this static value we need here dynamic value now I am going to refresh here. In here, oh again, this is nice product. Where is this? Okay. Remove this. So now we can see here all text boxes are empty. Now we need to fill this value from table. So in value, this is the product name. So variable is equal. Uh, variable name is dollar product name. So I copy this and pass here echo dollar product name then product underscore price so i have to pass here echo dollar product underscore price now we need product quantity so our variable is product underscore qty Equal dollar product underscore qty. Now we need product image, it is for uploading, so we uh, do not need here. Now product underscore category, so here value equal dollar product underscore category. Now we need product description, so field is product underscore des. Echo dollar product underscore ds. Okay, now I am going to check here what happened. You can see here all records are filled up. Now I am going to click on another record, add it, then this record will be filled over here. You can see here. So now I am go I want to uh, update this record. So for updating, we need to write here php code so first of all i am going to take if is set dollar underscore post submit one now we need to pass a first get here dollar fnm is equal to first we check here we pass here enc type multi part form data or not we need to pass here form 
Okay. Form name form one. Then we need Edson. Edson. Then we need method. And then we then we need ENC type. Multi part form data. We need this. We have already needed so no need to slash form. Now here we need dollar fnm is equal to our file control name is p image. So I am going to pass here dollar underscore files p image and we need here name. So first of all we have to check that user select new image or not. So if dollar fnm is equal to is equal to blind then user is not uh, uh, user don't want to update this image otherwise else so if user uh, do not want to update image then we have to write only update query mysql i underscore query now i am going to pass here update query update product set product name is equal to I have to check here all column name product name then product price product price is equal to then we need product UTY product qty is equal to we don't know right now product image now product category and now product description okay where id is equal to dollar id and we need here semicolon now here we have to pass our text box reference so like this to underscore post we have to pass here all text box reference so first of all i am going to copy this paste paste no paste and here paste ok now we need to check our text box name pnm pnm here p price pnm p price p qty p category this is very big process p category p category and now we need description after category so we need pdsc okay pds now uh, this is for if user uh, do not want to upload image but now if user select image then then we have to again copy this and paste here and from this add product we need to copy this code and paste here then paste here and now we need to update product image also so, so set here product image is equal to we need to check column name or column name is product underscore image yes right so we take here product underscore image is equal to and we have to pass here dollar dst one now after complete this process we need to forward our page and we want to go on bed page so here script type text javascript and now here window dot location is equal to and our page name is display underscore item display underscore item dot php okay now I am going to check here 
we can see here we write here this is testing and we don't want to change this image right now so this is testing one and now going to upload we can see here we get here this is testing one and yes we need to change here button name not upload but we need here update so i am going to check here change here name update in okay now the most important part is now i am going to update this image so select this and i have to okay upload this image in this is testing one and update yes we can see here we change here image also so this way we can perform edit operation in this shopping cart thank you so much for watching my video